it's an issue globally uh, and in the region. In fact, uh, in Bahamas, when for the course of that the human resource gaps that we have all in, all face, uh, especially in the nursing area, uh, is very huge. We have our nurses being poached to other countries because of better incentives, larger uh, salary packaging. Uh, but what we have done as a government, uh, and I must highlight that, just the past year, where we have created over 200 new posts and hired over 200 new nurses, uh, we are right now looking at the whole compendium of allowances to see how we can retain, keep retaining our nurses. Um, it's a big struggle. Uh, that's a challenge we face as a government. That's a, that's, a, that's a challenge we face as a ministry to ensure that we can continue to uh, keep uh, and hire more persons so that we could release the burden on those that are already strained as, 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 as nurses in, this, in the healthcare system. So, yes, that still exists, but we are going to ensure, we are working together with with uh, the in partnership with the University of Belize, the Ministry of Education, in, in offering continued scholarship. Right now, as I said, we are we are offering scholarship as well in terms of certain specialization for nurses. Uh, we are working with the uh, the University of Technology in Jamaica, where they are, we are providing scholarship for persons out there, and that th these are a tune of an investment of about one point five million dollars uh, just for the past year.